Hi, I'm Ms. Sandamali Ekanayaka and I'm from Platinum Business Academy. I'll be teaching you all computer science for Cambridge O level. Uh, if I give a self introduction, uh, I had been teaching for more than 15 years and I joined um, Platinum uh, two years back and uh, most of my students used to achieve world awards, country awards. Uh, so today I thought of teaching you all the introduction. Now, if you take computer science, you have to do two papers, that means a theory paper and the practical paper. So today I'll be teaching you the first lesson, uh, computer uh, paper one, uh, chapter one, where you get number systems, conversions and all. So I'll be just doing a small uh, section in chapter one, uh, theory, okay? Uh, we got to do uh, number systems in chapter one. There you get uh, three main topics. Three types of number systems you all got to be aware of for computer science O level, okay? Uh, binary number system, binary number system, and the hexadecimal number system, okay? So I'll give you the introduction to all these number systems, but basically I'll be teaching you hexadecimal number system because it's interesting and you'll be able to understand within a short time limit. That's the reason, okay? Right, so I'll start with the lesson now. So, this is the number system. Digits coming up and the base. So, the heading you can write down number system. That's the heading. So, under that, you can draw this table, okay? After that, the first number system we are going to learn is going to be binary. So if you take binary number system children, you get two digits under that. That means ones and zeros. So this is the language the computers can understand. Binary language or machine language you call it, okay? So that's why you all got to learn these number systems. What we can understand is going to be the binary number system, which is easy to understand. And the hexadecimal number, again, it's easy for us to understand. So that's why we are going to learn those three categories for ordinary level. Okay? So if you take binary number system, you get two types of digits. It's going to be zeros and ones. So the base is going to be two. Why is that? Because you have two digits in that number system. So actually, uh, what do you mean by zeros and ones? A machine can understand only the voltage changes. Is that clear? High voltage, low voltage. So think like that. So zero means low voltage, one means high voltage. So a machine can understand voltage changes only. That's why we are saying that's a language a machine can understand. Okay? Right. Then the next number system you got to learn is going to be binary number system. Okay? Binary number system, if you take, that of course, we are familiar. What are the, how many digits do we have in binary number system? 10 digits, starting from 0 to 9. 0 to 9, how many Digits are there, 10 digits are going to be there. So the base is going to be 10. Is that clear to everyone? 
because you you are going to have zero to nine, ten digits. That's the reason the base is going to be ten. Then the next number system is going to be hexadecimal number system. Hexadecimal number system means you are going to have digits 0 to 9, 10 digits are there. After 9, for 10, you give the number as A to F. You are going to have. That means A means 10, B means 11, C means 12, likewise. Up to F, you are having. So here you have 10 digits, 0 to 9. And A to F, six digits. So altogether, 16 digits will be there. So that's why the base is going to be 16. Okay? So these are the three types of number systems you all got to learn under your syllabus. Okay, children? So today I'm going to teach you how to do the hexadecimal conversions. It's really easy. So within the time limit, I'll be able to complete that section quickly. That's the reason I selected that topic. Okay. So now we'll see what do you mean by hexadecimal number system. I'll share the screen to show you the hexadecimal number system. Uh, you get this in your textbook, this section in uh, computer science. IGCSE Computer Science Second Edition textbook I'm using. Okay, so there you get the hexadecimal number system on page number seven. Okay, right. So if we uh, go through the theory, you all can see that the hexadecimal number system is very closely related to the binary system. Hexadecimal, sometimes referred to as simply hex is a base 16 system and therefore needs to use 16 different digits to represent each value. So that's why I told you the base is going to be 16 because there are 16 digits. Okay? Because it is a system based on 16 different digits, the numbers 0 to 9 and the letters A to F are used to represent each hexadecimal digit. A in hexadecimal is going to be 10. That's what I told you. In dinary. B equals to 11. C equals to 12. D equals to 13. And E equals to 14. And F equals to 15. So 0 to 15, how many digits will be there? 16 digits. That's why you call it as hexadecimal number system. So I hope that is clear to everyone. Okay? Using the same method. Right now, we'll see what do you mean by this hexadecimal number system. Now, can you all see the binary numbers here? This is what you call as the hexadecimal table. If you know this table, it's really easy to do the conversion. Is that clear? So, now if you take binary numbers, you have 0 to 15 over here. Is that clear? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 15. The hexadecimal number system, how do you give? Again, 0 to 9 only. That's what I told you. Here, can you see? 0 to 9. A to F. That's why you have from, instead of 10, you are going to have A. So, A to F. You are going to have the number system. A, B, C, D, E, F. So, this is what you call as the hexadecimal number system. Can you all understand, children? So then, if you get the corresponding value of the binary, right, this is how you represent it. It's really easy to write down this hexadecimal number system along with binary. So I'll show you the way to do it at the beginning. First row, if you take, you got to put zeros because hexadecimal number starts with zero. So here, under binary value, you got to give four zeros. Then, next thing what you got to do is, you got to put four ones at the bottom. Then, less chance to make errors. That's the reason I'm asking you to do like this. First, you better add four zeros at the top. 
and four ones at the bottom. Then how do you by heart this table? It's really easy. If you take the leftmost column, sorry, rightmost column, how do you get the binary digits? Zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. Up to here, it's zero, one. So it's easy to remember. Then if you take the, this is the fourth column, isn't it? Then if you take the third column, how do you give the binary digits? Double zero, double one, double zero, double one, double zero, double one, and it goes on. Then third, uh, second column, if you take, how do you give the binary values, children? You have to give four zeros, four ones, four zeros, four ones. Then you have to give eight zeros, eight ones in the first column. So if I revise how to do it again, write down the column headings, binary values, hexadecimal values, and binary values. So binary, of course, you can write down from zero to 15 straight away. Then hexadecimal values, you have to write starting from zero to nine. Then there onwards, you have to put A, B, C, D, E, F. Then binary values, how do you give? Huh? Last column, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Then third column, double, 0, double, 1, double, 0, double, 1. That's the pattern, okay? Then second column, how do you give? Hmm? Four zeros, four ones, four zeros, four ones. And the first column, you are going to give eight zeros, eight ones. So if you know this table, it's really easy to do the conversions. Now I'll uh, show you how to do these conversions. Now, if you take the first example, they have asked you to convert this binary number system into hexadecimal number system. It's really easy. It's just a matter of grouping the binary numbers into four, starting from the uh, right side. Starting from the right side, always keep that in your mind. From here, you have to start. One, zero, zero, zero. Can you see that? Group it into four. Then zero, one, one, one. Then one, one, zero, one. Okay? Then it's just a matter of getting the corresponding value from the table. It's really easy. Now, let me know what is the corresponding value for zero, 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 one. So shall we check it in the table? 0, 0, 0, 1 means what's the corresponding hexadecimal number, children? 1. So you just have to put 1 below that. Okay? Then uh, get the corresponding value of triple one zero. Where do you have triple one zero in the table? Triple one zero. What's the corresponding hexadecimal value? E. It's really easy. Can you understand? So you got to write down E under that number set. Then get to know the corresponding value of 1011. Now check where it is. 1011. 1011. What's the corresponding value? B. So you got to write down B over there. So how do you convert the binary into hexadecimal? Just a matter of getting the binary pattern. Huh? Whatever the corresponding value from the table. It's really easy. Can you understand? First, group it into four, starting from the right side, right? First four digits, next four digits. Likewise, you have to move to the left, okay? So now imagine you have another one after uh, one zero double one. Then you, it's just a matter of putting three zeros in front of that particular number one, okay? I'll show you how to do that as well. Now, uh, can you all understand how to convert this binary number into hexadecimal? So what's the corresponding bit pattern? Huh? For this particular bit pattern, what's the corresponding uh, hexadecimal number, children? B, E, 1. Is that clear? So the base is going to be 16 in that case because it's a hexadecimal number system. Now, can you understand how to convert binary number into hexadecimal number. Hmm? So we'll go through the second example as well. Then it's easy for you all to understand. Now this is the bit pattern given. Okay. So we have to group it into four starting from the right side. Okay. 
So one zero double one is the first group. Then four ones. Then one triple zero up to here. One triple zero. Then you have zero one over here. So what you should do now? First split this up into four bits. We have done that. After that, the left group only contains two bits. Can you see that? One and zero only. So what you should do? You have to add extra two bits in front. Okay. Then get the corresponding value from the table. Now use table 1.1 to find the equivalent hexadecimal digits. So now we'll try to find it. Okay. So was the uh, corresponding value for double zero one zero? Shall we check? Double zero one zero. Here. Double zero one zero means number two in hexadecimal column. So it's just a matter of putting number two over here. Okay. Then the next one. Triple zero one. Get it from the table. Triple zero one means what? Was the hexadecimal number one? Okay. So we'll put number one over here. Okay. Then triple, sorry, four ones. Huh? Can you remember I asked you to put four ones at the bottom? So obviously it's going to be F. Okay. So it's going to be F. Then double one, zero one. Shall we check the corresponding value? Double one, zero one. Double one, zero one. What's the corresponding value? D. Okay. So it is just a matter of getting the corresponding bit pattern from the table and find the hexadecimal number. So that's why I'm telling you to use the table to do the conversion, then it's really easy to do the conversion. Is that clear, children? I hope that is clear to every one of you. So, uh, okay. So now you all have learned how to convert binary numbers into hexadecimal. Then hexadecimal to binary, if they ask you to convert, same principle. Just get the hexadecimal number and get the corresponding bit pattern from the binary hexadecimal table, right? So it's going to be really easy in that case. So here you have an activity, activity 1.3. Convert the following binary numbers into hexadecimal. So shall we do it? The first one only, okay? We'll do the first one. So here you have how many bits? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bits are there. So eight bits means we can easily group it into four and four. That means two groups are there. Isn't it? One, one, zero, zero is going to be the first group. Next group is going to be double zero, double one. Okay? Right. So what's the corresponding uh, hexadecimal number you have to get from the table? It's really easy. So how, shall we check what's the corresponding value? For double one, double zero, double one, double zero. Where do you have? Double one, double zero. Corresponding hexadecimal value is going to be C. Is that clear? C. Then uh, for the next one, double one, double zero is the first one. Next one, double zero, double one. What's the corresponding value? Double zero, double one. It's going to be three. So, it's really easy to do the conversions if you use this table. Is that clear, children? So it's just a matter of cross-checking with the by hexadecimal binary table. But make sure you can use this table only for binary to hexadecimal conversions and hexadecimal to binary conversions. Remember that. You can't use this table for dinary to hexadecimal and hexadecimal to dinary. Conversions, you can't use this table. Remember that. You can use this table only for binary to hexadecimal conversions and hexadecimal to binary conversions. Is that clear to everyone? Okay, so thanks for watching and I hope you all will join us as soon as possible. Thank you.